Hello everybody, my name is Ubernate, and I'm here playing the Talos Principle. I originally played this game in 2020, like mid-2020, and I never actually got around to finishing it, so I'm going to be restarting it, because this game is just so, so good, and I really want to see the ending. I'm going to be starting a, a new game. New game, yes. This game is just so good, and I, I always, and I feel kind of empty, you know, leaving a game unfinished for two years, two whole years now, nearly three. And I feel like, you know, two years ago, I wasn't able to really grasp, you know, the message of the game, you know, I was I'm most, I was mostly playing it for the puzzles. So, I don't know, maybe I have a better, I'll have a, I'll have a hotter, I'll have a hotter take this time around. And I also have like a different, different views over left shoulder, behind player, over right shoulder. Like, look at this. Look at this. You could, I, I never even knew this. Child, I never even knew you did that my first time playing around. You are risen from the dust and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Yeah, that's Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. I mean, this game loves to hide little things around, so I'm going to try and find them all, but I'm definitely not going to be able to find everything, you know? I can guarantee that one. Initiating child program logic check. Okay, so we got to get through this. I know what this does. So here, you pick this up, and it opens up the wall. Boom, it jams it. I don't know if there's a puzzle here. I think it's just... Us walking through child program basic calibration successful. Nice. We got a little jammer. I'm gonna go back and grab the other one because I actually no, you can't go through this. Huh? Nope. Okay. If you go through the wall with a uh, purple, it drops it. I could jam that thing. I think it'll kill me if it acknowledges me. Special awareness. Okay. I'm gonna do this. To grab you back. And that turret will also kill you if it. Is... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could dodge it. And if you die, you go back to your checkpoint. I'll jam you. Oh, chill out. And I guess do this nice little, ooh, nice little trick to keep them coming. So a message is sitting around. I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Version 17.1. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a oh. sigil. Wonder if I can. It is your purpose to seek these sigils. I'm gonna find for the sigils. You will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. I also went ahead and unlisted my old videos. I'm gonna keep those unlisted, but there will be a playlist. If you look on like the playlist section of my channel, just in case you want to see my old raw reaction or I don't know, hear old me, you know, two years ago. What do you say? I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. Version 10.1. Ah, oh, here we go, okay. So this board tells us what kind of, what puzzle pieces we need. So we need like two L's and a Z, like Tetris pieces. Pop them down, we'll go over here. We got a golden L, and you can see the top left things we require. So thanks for that door. We need those two L's and a Z. This actually isn't part of it, but I'm gonna do it all. I like to do everything. Peephole, all right. Oh man, this actually, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so I can't go through there. So I wonder, I'm gonna do that. Now I wonder if I can grab you through here, can I? No, I can't, okay. But I will do that. And then, okay, I know what I would do. I gotta stun you, oops. And I got stunned the other one. Yep. This gate will open up. Look at that. Oh, it's not gonna open up. Okay. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my. Yeah, yeah, I know this man. But it may serve you in times to come. Yeah. So as you can see on top left, it unlocks another item. So these are yeah. So this path has all the other three. Yeah. Let's take the first Z. A switch out of reach, huh? Sometimes the names are kind of helpful in knowing what you gotta do. I love this world though. It's so nice. It's so nice looking. Anything in here? Nope. Boop. What we got? Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I got a switch for... I'm assuming it's right. Yeah. The, yeah. I see that. Okay. I'm guessing that's it. Yeah. Boop. Anything here? Nope. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Huh. Eternity, you say, huh? I often think about this game. You know, those two years I... Two year pause I've been on. Oh, you know? Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open the gate. You're gonna come through. And I'm gonna lock you out. Boop. Sucker. Ah, oh, I only need one. Yep. Look at that one. Solved it before it even began. Well done, child. These first puzzles are gonna only be really one easy. More sigil is needed. Striding the beaten path, huh? Oh, oh, whoa! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that guy scared me. Rush, 
rushing towards me. Of this land may harm you, yeah, I can see that. Do not resent them. I don't. They They're just servants, doing their jobs. And they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Oh, I gotta see what I gotta do. You gotta go in there. Excuse me. Boop, sucker. Nice. This game is so nice looking, man. My temple awaits you, child. Oops. Go forth. Yeah, there's an L over here. I'll grab this real quick. I'll need it. Eventually. My Only child, the two of us, huh? You do not need to collect all sigils. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I want to. You are free to return to this place whenever you Yeah, but then I won't, you know. If I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it later, so. A little double jam. Just come up with a name for this. I'll call it double jam. I kinda like that. Boop, I'll do that. I'm gonna scoot past this to kill me. There we go. You for are A. most diligent. Thank you. I like you to call Perhaps me that. I like I like the compliments. Well times to come. So now we gotta we gotta fit all these pieces in without them getting stuck. I'm not the best at Tetris, okay? I'm not I've never been good at it. Oh, two of them. Okay, this is faith. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs and importance to guide my steps. I am one of his children and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach knowing that. How are we supposed to resist distraction? Version 17.1. I don't know, man. How are you supposed to resist distraction? Ah, we got our first terminal here. All right. Well, let's, let's get to it. This game is a lot of freaking reading, by the way. A lot of reading. Mounting local disks, 47 million. Distributed resources, blah, 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 blah. Network inaccessible. Loading MLA, Milton Library Assistant. Guest at local, that's me. Um, hi. Unknown command, type help, all right. Help. We got list, open, run, help, and exit. I read that in the wrong order, but that's fine. Let's do list first. All right, we got three texts here. Let's start off with welcome. I don't remember, I don't miss the reading, all the reading. From Nadia Sarabai at Institute for Applied Blank. To Alexandra Drennan. Welcome to the team. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. G. Let's do this. Nadia. Figure it out. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. That's so sweet. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Blank did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her into a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, claim it. But all faltered in the final step, for you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some some say that Hercules blank gazing upon the stars and wept. I wonder if these mean anything. Like some weird computer science thing or whatever. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to decipher it. Something about an apple in a garden. Interesting. Run MLA then. I like talking to this dude. It's like one of my, this is one of my favorite parts. Hello guests, how can I help you today? Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Oh, okay. Um, that's kind of mean. I'm not going to say that. Maybe let's see what it says, actually. It's going to be like, I'm sorry. I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject verb object syntax. Okay. Describe your functions. Thing. So it, it couldn't tell me. It couldn't tell me. Looks like I just got to ask it questions. So what are these terminals? They provide access to the library resource archive. How long has the system been running? Active for 9999E years. So that's a, eh, just a couple years, you know, just a couple. What is the current status of the library archive? There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up 5.412750 petabytes of disk space. I got that on like a flash drive, that's fine. That is approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, and the entire internet in 2003. I feel like, really? 2003? Not much? There's no way. However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. What caused the corruption? 
Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. How old are they? Range from July 1st, 1995 to, 20, to June 27, 203F. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming F is a much larger number. Uh, or just a large number, I guess. I'm not going to call it pointless, man. I don't, I don't think it's pointless. I mean, it's giving me information, you know? It's not pointless. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. It seems like it can't respond to things that it hasn't learned about, you know? So who is Elohim? Is it a noun for God or gods in modern ancient Hebrew? Well, that was kind of obvious. What am I? You are logged in with a guest account. Nice, man. Thank you. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with MLA. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll call it a pointless contraption. Let's see what it says. What, let's see what it's got to say about that. You cannot insult me. Well, I, I feel like I can. That doesn't mean you have to take offense to it. You know, I I can insult you. It's something I can do unless you're telling me I physically cannot as a computer myself. I mean, I think I am from what I look like in third person. All right. Step into the light, child. Well, give me and a moment. I only got two. Be revealed to you. I only got two left. Let me let me do these real quick. Poking a sleeping lion. Not something I want to do, but if you feel like that's what you got to do, you go ahead and do it, man. I'm not going to stop you. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. We're going to hit a double jam. Get you from here. And I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to guess you go back and forth. And boom. Nice and easy. We got a golden L. That's for the other thing. Trio Bombasticus. Bombasticus. Interesting. So we got... Oh, you know, that's why it's called Trio. Okay. All right. So we gotta get through all three of them, huh? With the, oh, well, this is easy. I literally, I just let him through. Then I let that guy through. Then I let you through. And I open that and we're, we're, we're home safe. All right, so we got this whole area all figured out, I think. All right, looks like we got everything. I'm going into the temple. I still teleporter pad. You walk now there we go, one. The Look at that. Oh, it's a star temple. somewhere. Whence many gates lead. I wonder if I can find that. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Made them for me, huh? Maybe maybe it doesn't mean specifically me, you know? I wanna I wanna try and find where that star's at. I know the stars are a bit tricky to find. I didn't I didn't even know there was a star in this level. Let's see. I'm not gonna look too long for them, because they're pretty pesky i mean i'll probably eventually get them all you know once i finish the game and i give up looking i'll, I'll like watch a tutorial or something or oh there's a freaking what is that why is everything over there oh, okay <laughs> i was jumping oh my switch is gone all right you know i'm out of here i'm i'm gone i'll figure it out later all right let's see i don't think i have anything that's unlocked right oh well, that's a cube or a hexa hedron mm -hmm. i need one more for you so let's go to area two how many stars you got here one all right I'm gonna try to make these videos, you know, not, not super abundant. Or I mean, I don't, I don't have too many videos. Trying to get this, this, this show on the road. But the great tower, there you may not go, for in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Interesting. Oh, locked door, huh? All right, let's go use this terminal real quick. I like the terminals. Oh, there's an error, huh? List. It's currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. Use access com portal to command. Okay, sure. Network inaccessible. Run MLA troubleshooter. Sure. Is there something you'd like help with today? Troubleshooting. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network, pro network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. Um, 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 God. Incorrect. Uh, admin. Let me in. Oh man. All right. Let's create a new admin account, sure. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you're not a bot. You will now be asked a series of inputs to cohere with data protection legislation. You must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Please answer quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. All right, let's begin. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. 2 plus 2 is 4. What is your subjective reaction to this image? Uh, I'll say content. What best describes a person? Uh, I'll say a human being. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water. But you're not sure how far it is. Far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Kill him and collect his blood in a flask for later. That's quite... I'll give him half the water. 
I will receive a notification when part two has been generated. All right, cool. I'm trying to get in, man. I'm trying to create my admin account. I'm locked out right now. We got Ian Aiden. Title drop. Let's start with the Athena analysis. This is a bit messed up. <laughs> okay. Alexis added four notes. Novel's first sentence. She woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should, like, having no inherent inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what we what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. I feel like I'm reading a philosophy paper. I took one philosophy class in college, and it sounds like something I would write, or something I would read. When, in chapter 16, a second awakening in the kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the... A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... I'm really loving this, this, this broken essay. From Frank Nagati to Miles Nagati, Dan Nagati. Okay, got a whole family here. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ah, oh, that's Ian right there. I-A-N. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they're just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in, and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarah Bay shows up, smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym. Back when the Institute was founded, she says, Enin, Yapnin, Enopno. It all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian. She goes, well, that's a name. Someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck, so we're officially called Ian. But if you're anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. I'm surprised you figured it out. You see Jeff Goldblum, and the first thing you go is to his, his character's name, Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. That's funny, though. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain, certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver and others assert was was, was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not say that Talos, though created as a machine or toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Well, it almost feels like, it almost feels like me, you know, this game. <laughs> Am I real? I mean, I, I'm controlling myself, but is my character real, you know? I mean, me in real life is controlling my character in game. So the game's a very uh, philosophical, as you can tell, <laughs> reading philosophy essays and, and whatnot. Let's go ahead and collect this. It's like a memory recording or whatever. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule, write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't wow. know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Wait, I wonder if you'll kill him. Oh wait, I gotta press, okay, there's the button. Go, go, go! Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I see what I gotta do. That, that time capsule idea seems pretty cool though. All right, turn you on. I'm guessing you will shoot it then, right? If I. I think it does. Kill it. Oh no, you're gonna kill that thing. So you're gonna suicide onto it. Boom. Forget what this mission was called. There we go. Good. You are learning, as is your purpose. Indeed. But your choices must be your own. Well, oh, we got a Therefore, whole world out here. I will not guide you unless it is necessary. I'm gonna explore around. Also, you can uh, you can assume it. I don't, I don't like whenever I watch people play games, you know, and there's cuts and stuff. You know, my videos a lot of editing in it, cut a lot of stuff out. You know, a lot of boring stuff out. You can assume that when I cut a section out, you can assume that I went ahead and searched everything and there was nothing there. But I'm gonna, you know, clarify that. Oh, another terminal. Sure, let's get all the reading out. Um, okay, it's it's, it's nothing. <laughs> this is a fancy looking one. Oh, part two. Let's go. Part two has been the de uh, design test the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. I don't think I had any outlier responses. I, don't, I feel like my responses were kind of normal. I feel like 
Most people would have said it, but sure. Since all human beings are persons, and some human beings have a psychological capacity similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. Similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. I mean, I treat animals like people, but I don't think they're the same as people. I'm gonna disagree. I wouldn't broadly disagree. I mean, you gotta give me more. A person is under no authority other than to which they can consent. I don't, all right, I don't exactly know what this means. I'm gonna say, disagree. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Sure, value is discovered. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. I suppose so. Persons deserve the talents they're born into. Oh, I don't see why they wouldn't deserve them. I don't think you're really deserving of it. I guess you're just kind of born with it, you know? <laughs> the liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Liberty, I'm gonna Google that word. So like freedom? Oh, so like freedom? Um, well, I don't think you need, you know, I don't think you need to have full freedom. I'll agree. Value is created. I'll agree with that one too. You can definitely create value for things or the value of money was created, I guess. Oh, nice. My certification process is complete. Arg Solutions, the human machine error. Let's open error. Can I load archive? Milton John. I feel like I've heard that name before. John Milton. An artist or something or a writer? I don't know. That day, I often remember when from sleep I first awaked and found myself reposed under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what I was, whence, thither, brought, and how. Error, unknown error. Human machine. Topic number three. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Hey, is your concept of yourself changed? Are you the same person you thought you were? Oh, well, I guess if I found out I was the computer, I wouldn't, it, it wouldn't really change my perception of myself or I guess the, I mean, the concept of me would change because like, I'm not, I don't have a real beating heart. I have a mechanical one. So sure the concept of, but the idea of me, I wouldn't change or my ideologies or anything would change. But does your understanding of the world itself change? Yeah, it definitely would because robots aren't conscious. And I guess if I myself, you know, me, ever figured out I was a robot and I'm conscious now, it would for sure change how I would view robots. <laughs> do you reveal the information to others? Or do you keep it to yourself? I would for sure keep it to myself. I don't need other people knowing I'm not, I'm not conscious or anything. I don't, I don't want to go through that. Whoa, 1500 to 2000 words. 26th is the final deadline. No extensions will be granted. Hey, you know, that, that's a fun paper to write. I, I like that. Let's go. Arc, solu Arc Solutions. <laughs> to Bob Ravosky too. 108 recipients. All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such a reserves of serenity. Though these latter day Guatemas are at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are who are building bunkers and collecting guns. Wait, so you don't want people to be calm, but you don't want them to be paranoid? What are they gonna do? Shoot something? Though I have to admit the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. The minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. The reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. Well, unfortunately, our society doesn't work like that, where everyone puts their heads together for a solution. I'm gonna try something. I feel like, I think the game does generate a uh, a scannable code it got it oh shoot view full text let's see what it says there are secrets everywhere sometimes within our within our very words i glimpse them but my eyes cannot read them how can this be it's from uriel uriel 4 version 48.2 that's crazy it's an actual bark it's like an actual uh, code you can scan that's pretty sick well, i gotta i gotta search everything this place is huge oh recording it number 23 version oh no number, number 23 maybe version 0.1 he's just like me Where's this dude running off to? Oh, okay. Looks a bit confused. And he's gone, okay. Not sure that was all about. He went this way and he was gone. Something strange has come into the world, like a distortion, like something that's not supposed to exist. A beautiful voice speaks within it. Yeah, I see those too, Bob. That voice is not supposed to be here. It is not the work of the designer. It must avoid these abnormalities or they might spread and undermine the very fabric of our world. Thank you, Faith. Well, that looks kind of weird. This game is so nice looking, man. All right, let's get to a puzzle. Let's do it. Hall of Windows. Definitely see the windows here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Can't get you out. Let's see if there's anything over here. Anything? I think I gotta do that. I gotta double jam it. And then I gotta jam over here. And I'll jam you. Get through here. Oh, I think I already solved it. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just like that. Green L. That's the last piece I need for A. The guards must be crazy. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. 
Scoot past that guy. Ooh, barely weasel through. All right, I'm gonna double jam this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna double jam you. Open you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, through the wall. Holy, that guy scared me, man. Um, let's try this. Just be quick with it. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. Um, frick. I need you to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see you coming down that way. There we go. Uh, that took me... That took me a second. Got it. Oh, A's done. Oh, I go up here. Yo. This is sick. It's over here. Oh, oh, whoa. 23 version 0.18 you running off to your goofball what's up man let's take a nice little look out here anything over here i don't see anything i don't like it at all no way all right i'm gonna take one last little look around and report back if i find anything i suppose it sucks when i know i'm missing something and i just can't find it i've been running around for a little bit now I haven't read this yet. I can't tell if the documents on the terminals are all that's left from a larger archive or are carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Sheep, version 69.1. Oh, you, you can't catch me being called a sheep. I'm just saying. All right, I've been looking for way too long. I can't find anything. We're going to the next area. All right, let's go to area three.